having exported all of the maps that we want or need from Substance Painter, what we want to do first of all now is demonstrate how we might go about using the floating point EXR files that we originally created. Getting those imported into Max and plugged into a suitable material is going to be our first order of business. And so after opening up the material editor using the M key and jumping into the chair tab, let's drop a physical material onto the work area apply that to the chair in the scene and then make sure that the show shaded material in viewport option is turned on. Now whilst we did ride a total of six EXR maps out for this particular piece of geometry we aren't really going to need either the height, AO or metallic maps in this instance and so let's drop a bitmap node onto the work area and then after adding the base colour map to it copy the node twice and then add the relevant map channels, making certain, of course, that we also connect each of the maps to the relevant inputs on the physical material, and that we again drop a V-Ray normal map into the completed normal chain. Now, unlike the EXRs that we worked with coming from Substance Designer, where the base colour map was too light, what we get from Painter, if we just double-click to enlarge the thumbnail, is the opposite way around, in that the colours are clearly too dark. To fix this, we can again add a max colour map to the chain, and this time uncheck the reverse gamma option. What we get if we take a render now, whilst a pretty good correlation to the materials that we were seeing in the Substance Painter 3D view, does look to be a little too light in the base colour channel, bearing in mind of course that the different lighting and environment setups that we are using here in Max can contribute a little bit to such differences. Because of this difference though, I am going to use a gamma value of 1.7 on the colour map, and then render the chair again. What we have seen then is that making use of the EXR files exported from Painter is a pretty simple process when using V-Ray in 3ds Max. Remember also that because these are 2K floating point files, we have a lot of latitude here in Max to manipulate them by means of other nodes and tools in the material library, such as the output rollout on the bitmap node for instance, all without seeing any visual damage or degradation from any of the operations that we might apply which means that we are ready to move on to taking a look at working with the PSD file that we also saved out of Substance Painter.